Well, hello, hello, my dear friends, my dear viewers. Welcome back to Hogwarts, to Minecraft Harry Potter Adventure. We are back to Hogwarts. I am so happy. I love this map. I really, really do. Even though I get lost all the time. Before we move on, if you enjoy this content and my other content, please leave a like, subscribe and comment in the comment section down below. Let us try to get 250 subscribers before the 23rd of July. There's a little bit over two months to go, so I believe that we can do it. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Messy Pieces for both Twitter and Instagram. Same name as the channel. I believe you'll be able to find my happy face all over those social networks. So, without further ado, let's F5 our way into first person mode. And who are you? Hmm. Okay, it's you're just telling me to go to Hogsmeade. Okay, let's go to Hogsmeade. Which is apparently that away. Oh boy, I oh my god, is that It's the Quidditch! It's the Quidditch Beach! Ha <laughs> ha Oh I don't know what's wrong with this game. Maybe it's the render distance. I should have yeah. It's the render distance. I'm sorry, let's let's pump it out a bit. To 18. Okay, it should solve. I also... Oh, it doesn't help. It doesn't help. I am so sorry. Yeah, it means we lost sight of the Quidditch pitch. But whenever we get that again, it'll get exciting again. So, let's go. I also tried to reduce the music. I hope it helps. Because last episode, when I was editing, I realized that the music was so loud and I am so sorry for that. You couldn't almost hear me over the sound of the music, and I am so sorry for that. So, let's go. Hogwarts and Hogsmeade. Yeah, we are on the right path. This, it's a place we don't get to explore much. I remember on the old PC Harry Potter games, you know, the movie tie-ins. I played nearly all of them except the last two for the seventh movie. So I played from the Philosopher's Stone to the Half-Blood Prince. And Hogsmeade is never a place we can explore. We can go there in the Lego games, but it's just not... Oh, oh my, wait. What? Was that a loading screen? What happened? Okay, never mind. Um, it is not the same thing. I really hope that if that Harry Potter RPG really comes out... By the way, if that gets announced, I will be all over that. I'll be all over that game if, if it gets announced. Because, oh, God knows I am craving for an Harry Potter RPG. Like a proper one. If it does come out, my god, I'll be all over that. And I really hope we get to explore Oxmeat. The one thing that worries me about that game is that the rumors and the supposed leaks that we've got uh, point towards it being... What is that? Oh, that's the train sta station, I guess. Yeah. Point... Make it be that we are supposed going to play as a fifth year student and that's really not oh we have arrived in Oxmead oh my that's quite the transition all right uh, but yeah the rumors make it they, they, they claim quite friendly that will start playing as a fifth year student. Which I really hope it's not the case. Because you lose five years of like possible progression. Now I know that making making a game 
like span seven years of like a schooling institution is kind of hard if not impossible but I hope I'm going on the right path I haven't seen any any signs but I think I am I know that it's kind of wishful to hope that it can start on year one and go to year seven but if it's not like that I mean Sure, you could have a closed-in story as a fifth-year student, but that wouldn't be the same now, would it? One thing that they could do, and honestly it would be better for them to do so, because it would A, mean more games, and B, mean, mean more money, is have seven games with an overarching story, each for one year and have the end of, of, of each game be like the endless day in the old PC games where you get to free roam around the, the school and just do side quests if you have them. That, that was a common thing, not so much on the first and the second PC games. Ah, there it is, Hogsmeade. But I remember that the third game Prisoner of Azkaban had the endless day, the never-ending day, where you could just go around, collect the cards, and do the exams, repeat the classes if you needed. The fourth one was level-based, so there wasn't really that. The fifth one and the sixth one had the same, the same concept as well, and the seventh was also... Wait, oh! God, we have... I honestly forgot what we were doing here. <laughs> okay, so we have to hang flyers on five notice boards. Okay, let's search for the notice boards then. Okay, ah, there's one. There's one, let's knock it off. Okay, there's one. So yeah, I think that the best... The best way they could do it is really have seven games where you create your character, of course, and... Oh, the dream broomsticks! That's so cool! Oh, there's Agrid! Where you create your character on year one, and then you go from year one to year seven, and just... just follow along your adventures. Because honestly, starting a game, starting a Harry Potter game on year 5 is really not... I mean, it won't amount to anything, honestly. Because you can't get... you only get so much out of a, f of a one year. Like, you lose so much. Like, imagine you... Imagine the game comes out, gets announced, yes, five-year student. You have major decisions that are made before the fifth year that are just like, how do you transcribe that into a game? Harry Potter itself, the, the, the Potter universe, the Wizarding World, as I believe it's now called, and I cannot find that last notice board for the life of me. The Wizarding World... As it is. Ah, here it is. The wizarding world, as it is. It already has too much that's hard to translate to, to a video game. Like, I'm gonna take the example of, like, probably the, the biggest out of the bunch for now. Is... I'm gonna save those side quests for later. I have an idea to do with the side quests, but we'll leave it for later. Um, it's Hogwarts Mystery, the, the mobile game Hogwarts Mystery. Like, it's by no means a perfect game. I play it myself, I am on here 6 right now, close to the end actually. And uh, I'm gonna fast travel if I actually remember how it's done. Ah, it's the Marauder's Map, Q, 
and Hogwarts and the library. So, what that game does is that you have a set number of disciplines and they unlock throughout the years as you go along. You start, I guess, with just charms, um, potions and uh, flying classes. I don't believe, I don't think we have Transfiguration on the first year. Or we might have, so charms, potions, flying and Transfiguration. Later we unlock the ADA, we unlock Divination, History of Magic as well. Divination and History of Magic are like two very funny classes. Because, well, History of Magic, apart from being taught by a freaking ghost, sounds interesting if it was taught by a more enthusiastic teacher. But um, Divination just serves no purpose, and it's funny to see it implemented in a game. Yes, I did put all the flyers. Hmm. Excellent, I suppose I can teach you now. There's one spell that's that's come in handy for me a few times, although it is of a more mischievous nature, it's called Alohomora, and it's used to unlock locked doors. Mm -hmm. I know a place where you can go practice. Let's go there. Mm -hmm. Alright. Hmm. When exploring the world, you'll come across doors that are locked. Haha, mm -hmm. these are the best types of, of locks. <laughs> If you see my Kingdom Come Deliverance series, you know I have a pendant for, you know, unlock certain things that shouldn't be unlocked. Other doors are magically protected, okay. Need a key. Okay, that's cool. Alright. Hmm. See if you can make it through this obstacle course. Mm -hmm. What I like about this game is that they set you in the world, but you are... Oh, oh boy. Okay, so I have the Alohomora charm. Okay. Is that they set you in it, but the world is already established, like Hermione is already a student and all the other characters we know are already students. We are just thrown in and set into this world. But back to the RPG... Back to the RPG... Thorg. Like, there's a lot of things that... To be introduced in an RPG would be... Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> To be introduced in an RPG would be quite extreme, like, some classes, yes, they are easy to, to introduce, like Transfiguration, Charms, Potions, you can do mini-games surrounding those, those classes, no problem. But like, for the more theoretical ones, how do you introduce Divination, or, or History of Magic, or... I don't know, arithmancy or herbology you can do with a minigame, same as potions. But um, but yeah, divination, history of magic, arithmancy, care of magical creatures, it's not as theoretical as the others, but it has a different approach to it, so it's not exactly easy to implement. And also, there's so yeah, there's the house choosing system, that's everything. What am I... Why am I doing down here? Oh, this is another parkour challenge and I just came down to the... Oh, blimey. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Well, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. <laughs> Jesus, parkour. I hate parkour. But you know what I mean? It's not... It's not exactly... Okay, so how it's, it's gonna work? Okay, so I have to pull... Pull chain. Okay, not that hard. Okay, so I, I think I need to pull the four chains... In a sort of... 
quick succession manner. Haha! -ha. Oh, come on! You are joking, right? Oh. Oh, God. Okay, the parkour itself is not hard, but now that I have all the doors unlocked. Okay. Says he and then falls to his death. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's postpone the RPG talk for a bit. Oh, and the door's locked. What? What the hell? Like, what is wrong? Oh, and the door's locked. What is that? So, okay, I need... Okay... Okay! Oh good, it's done! Whew. Now please don't tell me I have to... to... Okay, I can... There's no time limit and I hope that doesn't close just because I fell. <laughs> okay, stupefy. Ah, it's a secret entrance. Ooh. Okay. It's already bright enough. All right. <laughs> oh, this is another maze, Hermione. How cute. Oh, bloody hell. Another maze. Okay. And this time there's no map. There's no convenient map, but there's gold. Okay. Oh. Of course I need a key. <laughs> and I need to find said key within this maze. Holy hell. So yeah, let's let's go back to the beginning. Let's imagine the RPG comes out. Here's the key. Let's imagine the RPG comes out. Year one. First major decision is, of course, the house decision. Like, if they do that on a five year student, like, it loses. It loses its touch. Like, sure, you still get to decide your house, it's still your decision. But is it impactful if you if you still lose? Bloody hell. Is it still impactful if you just start off a character like Imagine myself. I start playing that game on year five and I choose to be a Hufflepuff. However, the choosing of the, the of the houses, no matter how it works. But imagine I choose Hufflepuff and I start playing as a fifth as a fifth year Hufflepuff. Like, what attachment will I have to that character that I just chose for the sake of choosing? And then I started playing for the sake of playing. So, you know what I mean? Of course. So, it's weird to me that they would choose to... Oh, 
Here we come, the parkour again. It's weird for me that they would choose to do a game like that. Because for me it makes no sense. Then, then let's imagine, uh, on year 3 I guess? The students of Hogwarts are given a choice between a few elective, a few elective disciplines. Divination and care for, care for magical creatures being some of those options. If you actually remember, on uh, on Prisoner of Azkaban, Hermione chose to took all the elective chairs. Like there was rune reading, there was divination. There were scared for magical creatures. There was a lot of thing. Muggle studies, I think it's one of the electives. So yeah, how do you implement that? Sure, the, the one way to go to ignore that is to start later. But yeah, let, let's see. Two doors, one wrong, one right. Two gods, one lies, one tells the truth. Okay. Okay, so... Which door are you guarding? I'm guard the door leading out of this room, of course you would. Is the other guard guarding the right door? No. What do the other guards say is the other way out? They would claim that the door they guard is the way out. Okay. Do you tell the truth? Yes, of course you'd say that. So, I'm guessing that one of the answers will be different, so this one's yes, he says he guards the door, no, what would the other guard say, okay, let's see what this guy says, do you tell the truth, yes, which door are you guarding, I guard the door laying out of his room, is the other guard, okay, no, what would the other guard, ah, okay, they would claim that the door I guard is the way out. Okay, so the other guy says that the other guy would say that he's guarding the way out. This one says that the other would say that he... Okay, this is very confusing. They would claim that the door I guard is the way out. Okay, so the other guard would claim that this is the way out. He's not wrong. But... Okay. So, to this he says, the other would claim that the door they guard is the way out. So he's not wrong. That's what he said. So I guess that this guy is telling the truth. I mean, could it be? I mean... Because he said everything... Okay... Whoop! <laughs> nope, okay, I was wrong. Oh! Oh! Oh god! So they both lead to bottomless pits. Okay... So... This guy said exactly what the other one said he would say, so I guess... I'm guessing that this is the correct answer. I'm gonna go for it. I'm a genius, except not a lot, but yes, I'm a genius. And there's gold for my troubles. Oh boy, is this gonna be... This is gonna be a, a, a fighting room, isn't it? I got my stupefy at the ready. Have at he, knaves. Have at he. Come on. Okay. All things it devours, birds, beasts, trees, flowers, gnaws iron, bites steel. Ah, oh, this is the riddle. This is the riddle from from the Hobbit, isn't it? It's time. Yeah. 
I think it is the reel from The Hobbit, isn't it? Okay... Oops. Okay, boom. Ah, okay, so this is literally... Riddles, water, wind, time... This is really just the doors with the answers. That... Lions... Lion and Wand. It's time, really, it's time. I, I do remember that riddle. So I guess... It would be so funny if I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. Yeah, no, I'm not. Yeah... Yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! I'm back! Excellent, really well done. The Alohomora charm is now unlocked. I believe you're ready. Your next class is flying! Oh my god, we have a flying class. Are you ready to head back? Yes, mm -hmm. let's go back to the library. I want a flying class. Ah. Oh my. That is amazing. That is amazing. Okay, so this was the Alohomora class. I now have the Alohomora charm. That is pretty cool. What do you want to say? Do you need any more help? Hmm. I've walked my way to most and I'm looking for a bit extra mm -hmm. reading. If you find any interesting or rare books, please bring them to me. I'll pay 50 gold for every rare book you bring me. I will. Do I have, like, any? I have a rare book. I don't know if I lost any books. Or even if the quest shows any. Okay. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any. Okay, find Madame Hooch by the Hogwarts training grounds. Okay, so I guess maybe let's try and find a way out of here first. If we are able to, because we all know how lost this castle makes us. Haha! So we are outside. And I don't really know where the training grounds are. I might have to do a little snooping before I find out. So, but I feel that this is a good place as any to end. Let's pull our ones out. Alright, so, my dear friends, my dear viewers, I will end today's episode here. It seems about the right amount of time we went to Oxmead, we posted out some flyers for Spew, and we learned the Alohomora charm. Well, we discussed a lot along the way about the Harry, the Harry Potter RPG. It was a bit of a ramble, really. I might do a video on it. It's really, it's a really interesting idea that I'm starting to figure out I have here. So yeah, I'll try to do that, and maybe one day you'll see the results of said endeavor. But for now, my dear friends, my dear viewers, I hope you have enjoyed this video and are still enjoying this adventure. I am most certainly am, and I aim to see it till its end. So, if you guys have enjoyed it, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. I remember you. I remind you. We are aiming for 50 subscribers by the 23rd of July. So, if you're not yet subscribed, and somehow you got to the end of this nearly 30 minute long video on Harry Potter Minecraft, I do ask you to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content. That is so. I'll see you guys next time and bye bye.